And in today's gospel reading as well, we see Jesus take a child and he placed this child in, his, in the midst of everyone that was there, especially his disciples, and used the child as a symbol of how for them, how they can attain eternal life. So I'm going to mirror the action of Jesus, and I ask all of our young kids to come up and to be with me here. But you guys are going to help me tell the homily for tonight, for today. Okay? Come on. Does it feel nice to be up here? Yeah, get to look at all those faces up there. Yeah, who wants to be a priest? <laughs> huh? So in today's gospel reading, Jesus takes a child and places a child in the midst of everyone else. And what Jesus is trying to tell the people of the time is that you as children, there's a great importance in your life. And it's also a sign to everyone else how much Christ loves you, right? Do you know that Jesus loves you? Raise your hand if you know that Jesus loves you. Raise your hand if you love Jesus. You notice that you guys are the only one raising your hand. Nobody over there is raising their hand. <laughs> so there is a song about Jesus loving you. I don't know if you guys know that song. I'm sure the people out there uh, knows the song. I only know yeah? how to play Fortnite. You only know how to play Fortnite. Ay, Jesus. So here's how the song goes, yeah? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me to. To him all the kids belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Have you guys heard that song before? You heard it before? Okay, we'll sing one more time, yeah? If you know, sing with me. If you guys know, sing with me. You only know Fortnite. That's the only thing you know is Fortnite. Oh my goodness. My we're we're going to talk to your mom after this about your Fortnite. I think you need an intervention. Okay, we'll sing one more time. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So you see how Jesus loves you then. In the time of Jesus, you guys as the kids are, you are the lowest of all of society because at that time you have no contribution to society. Maybe just Fortnite. But there, so there was no importance to any of you. But Jesus took you, the simple child, and he elevated you to a higher position in society. And then he used you as a child as a symbol and a reminder to everyone else of how they will attain eternal life. So we are going to show all the adults here how to gain heaven. Okay, you stand up. What's your name? Elias. Elias? Elias. Elias. Oh, come here, Elias. Elias, how tall are you? You probably don't know. No. Yeah, but you're Filipino, so you're short. <laughs> Elias, you're short in stature. But short in stature is a symbol and a reminder to all of us that in order for us to attain eternal life, we must be humbled. We must have humility. Because there's one saint that said that in order for us to get into heaven, we must lower ourselves because the doorway to heaven is low. Now imagine you can attain that because of your stature, but for Father Ace to try to get into it is probably going to be hard. 
but it's a reminder that we must be humbled people for us to attain eternal life. Okay? You can sit down. And then I want all of you to show your hands to everyone. Raise up your hands. Let's show everyone your hands. Like this. Go like this, yeah. See, you notice how small your hands are. My hands are big, right? Yeah. See? But this is a reminder to everyone else that our hands, that your small hands can hold only certain amount of things. Your small hands can only hurt, um, hold maybe just one thing. But it's a reminder to all of us that in our life, we must grasp onto what's important. The bigger your hands, the more you want to take in. Yeah, some of us, we want to take in more of the material stuff. But hold on to what's important, and that's what Jesus is saying. Our hands is to hold on to that of Scripture. Hopefully your hands will be able to hold the Bible. But you can also look at your hands. Take a look at your hands. You don't want to see other thing that fits really nicely on your hands? The body of Christ. See, if I put the body of Christ in my hand, my hand is very big that there's still space that I want to take more onto it. But your hands are so small that it fits perfectly on there. And that's what we are called to do. That we are to take the body of Christ for us to become the body, to go out and to share that to everybody. So our hands is a reminder, your hands are a reminder to everyone that we only hold what's important. Let go of everything else. Let go of the worldly desires. Let go of what's not important. Let go of anger and, and fear and so forth and hold on to love. You guys have small hearts, yeah? Do you hold your fist like this? They said that your heart is the size of your fist. Don't see, my, I have a big fist. So that means my heart is probably big. Don't fall asleep. I'm not doing babysitting. But your heart is small because, again, it's the same concept as your, hand, and as your hands. The, our desires come from the heart. That we are to desire the simplest things. What did Jesus tell us to love? God and neighbor. Who's your neighbor? Uh, me. Me, my grandma. Your grandma. Maybe your grandma. There you go. Who's the other neighbor? Somebody that's not your family, your teacher, the bus driver, the garbage man, the mailman, the lady who gives you papers at the door. These people are all our neighbors. And God says, love God, love neighbor. Simple command. And that's what the heart should desire to do. And then put out your feet. Look at your feet. I have Samoan feet, right? You guys have small feet. So our, your feet is a reminder to everyone else that when you walk, you walk the path of Christ. Have you ever noticed when you make a, a footprint in the sand or in the mud? And then when you put your, so imagine if I put, if I make a footprint and you guys put your feet in my footprint, it will never over um, my, um, cover my footprint, right? Because my foot is bigger. Jesus' foot is the same thing. So Jesus is saying that when we walk, we walk his path. But when our footprint is bigger than Jesus, it means that we want to lead the path. We want to take over the path. But no, it should always be his footprint, and we walk in it. That's how we attain eternal life. Now let's look at your head. Touch your head. Like this, yeah? I have a big head. You have a little head. Who has a weird head? No? See, your, the size of your head, the size of mine, is again, your brain is small because we are asked to always think of the mind of Christ that our minds should always ascend. This is what prayer means. Prayer is the ascend of the hearts and mind to God. That every day we should be thinking God. 
One of the Psalms says, If I forget you, let my right hand wither. So our mind then should always be connected to the mind of God. Everything else, don't let it worry you. You take a look at all these people around here. Yeah? Many of, some of them, they have gray hair. Some of them, they have gray hair, but they color it because they don't want to show their gray. Some of them have no hair. Some of them have little bit hair. But because a lot of us, older folks, we worry too much. We worry about the bills. We worry about the kids. We worry about this and that. But you guys have no worry at all. You're not even worried about tomorrow. You're only thinking about today. And that's how we should be as disciples. Because Jesus said in the, the prayer of the Our Father, give us this day our daily bread. Jesus didn't say, give us tomorrow's bread or Friday's bread. It's today's bread. And that is how we should be as disciples of Christ. Okay? So hopefully you guys will be a reminder to all these people here of how they could attain eternal life. Walking in the footsteps of Christ, holding on to what's important, thinking of the mind of Christ, desiring only love of God and neighbor. And the last thing is to be humble. Humility is what brings us to the greater good of eternal life. Okay, now eventually I'm going to send you back to your parents. But before I send you, let's sing our song again. You guys remember the song? Yeah. Jesus Love You? Yeah? I'm sure you guys are going to start making friends up here. Okay, let's end with the song. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. As a thank you for being up here, you get to take a treat, and then you go back to your seat. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for helping me with my homily. Okay, it's not Halloween yet, but do not eat this inside the church. So you take it home. You got it? Hurry up, Fortnite. Fortnite, guys. Yeah, okay. There you go. You want more? You want more? Okay. Bye. Go now. <laughs>